without having a solutions mindset, you are going to fail. Only ask and I will give you the nations as your inheritance. The whole earth is your possession. Amen. Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a video all about how I sold out Bruh. in five days. This is my first time starting a real business. And so if you want to find out more on how I went from zero to four figures in five days, then just keep on watching. So if you don't know me already, my name is Janet Davies. I am a YouTuber, a natural hair influencer. I'm on Instagram as well. And I love and care about all things natural hair. And I actually started my first real business last week. I was accepting pre-orders from the 3rd of July. And by the 7th of July, which, is my, which was my launch date, we literally sold out. My business is called Amina Naturals, which is a one-stop shop for hair growth. So in this video, I'm just going to go into detail as to like into the steps I took what I was doing, how it was, how it was even possible. And I hope that this really inspires, encourages, and just motivates you to go out there and chase what you desire in terms of your passion and your purpose. Just a bit of background. Amina Naturals is a one-stop shop for all things hair growth. And my first product was this hair growth oil, which I make by myself, did the research, everything, curated it, by myself and we sold out in five days it's crazy i know but this is not going to be one of those videos like sign up here and you'll be a millionaire it's this is not one of the, one of the one of those videos it's going to be my genuine real experience with starting my first real business the pitfalls the setbacks the annoyances the, all of that good stuff so if you want to learn more about how i did this and how i was so successful definitely watch until the end because each and every one of these points you're gonna really need them especially if you're starting a business so the first point is mindset before you even get to the detail around how to start your business the most important thing you need to focus on is your mindset because everything that we do in life first begins and ends in the mind for example if i move my hand how did i move it i had to think about it before i did it right so just like that with everything that we do in life it comes through our mind. Our most powerful asset is our mind. And your mind can be the difference between you succeeding and you failing. And the difference between successful people and people that don't achieve their passions and purpose is purely their mindset. It's not about who's the smartest, who's the most, it's just purely mindset. So I really, really want to stress to you before I even get into my further points that you need to make sure that your mindset is on point. And I'm going to give you some tips as to how I prepared my mind to actually manifest what I desired, which was to sell out by my launch date. And I was actually able to do that. So what I would do, this is a week before my launch. I woke up at 5am every single morning and I'm going into a bit more detail as to, you know, a 5am morning routine. But I did a quick workout. I read my Bible, prayed, med meditated, and then I watched a video, an inspirational video that kind of reminded me why I was doing this and showing myself other people who look like me who are doing what I want to do and it just made me get into that mindset before I really even started anything in the day to ensure that my mind knew that it was possible because a lot of businesses don't start and a lot of people don't achieve purpose because they don't think it's possible and their minds literally trap them so I made sure the first thing I did one of the first things I did every single morning was watch some form of encouragement, some form of inspiration to really rem make me remember why it is that I'm doing what I'm doing and how it is very possible for me to do it too. I really watched a lot of Monique Rodriguez. She's the founder of Maya Organic, which is a brand in the US. And her story is so inspiring. She didn't come from a business background, just as myself. And for me, it really inspired me just kind of seeing someone who looked like me achieve what I want to achieve in the long run. So what I will say is definitely, definitely set your mindset to you are going to win and you are going to achieve whether 
anyone likes it or not, whatever setbacks or pitfalls come your way, you're gonna make it. Another thing that's really closely related to mindset is just finding out your why, because that will ultimately motivate you in the very long run, because there will, there will be times, quite frankly, where you just don't feel like doing it, or you just don't feel like, you know, continuing with your business. But if you have a strong rooted why, it genuinely motivates and propels you to kind of be the change you want to you want to see and for me it was I wanted to reclaim back the market share in the black hair care industry especially in the UK because quite frankly we have almost no representation of UK black owned natural hair care brands it honestly just doesn't really exist I think we have like one brand which is in a which is in a fairly major retailer and that is literally it so for me my why was to truly make a change in the industry to just be the change that i want to see instead of complaining that i don't see people that look like me actually becoming that change so for me that is my real motivation and i want to obviously encourage encourage empower and just create black thriving communities through my business so for me that is a strong why it motivates me whenever i feel like i don't want to do this anymore i always look back and remember janet this is why you're doing it you're going to make an impact so many people's lives so your yesterday your obedience today is going to help many people in the long run so for me that mindset and that why is so important. Another thing that is very related to your mindset is having a solutions mindset. Without having a solutions mindset, you are going to fail. This is because quite frankly, as an entrepreneur, you are basically a highly paid problem solver. Sorry to interrupt, but make sure that you subscribe, it's free. And make sure you hit the bell button so that you do not miss any of my uploads. Because every single business that has ever come about in this day and age has encountered some form of problem. You are going to encounter multiple problems when you start. I've made, mista I've made mistakes, Bill Gates has made mistakes, However, the difference between people like Bill Gates or your average guy who doesn't want to start a business because he's afraid or whatever is they don't see problems as what they are. They kind of have a solutions mindset and they become the solution to their business. And by becoming the solution to, to your business and never giving up, you are eventually going to see a result. Let me just give you a plain example. And I use this one quite a lot because quite frankly, I think it's quite funny. So I have a MacBook Pro, right? It's very old. I don't know how, but somehow my keyboard just stopped working. I don't know what happened. And literally the A, the Z, the backspace, all of these keys don't work. However, you would have never known that unless I told you, yeah, I'm still banging out content. You would have never known that I have a bad keyboard or my laptop isn't really working or whatever's happening. But why? Because I have a solutions mindset. I saw the issue. I, I created a solution and I ran with it. I didn't allow my issue to hold me and trap me. And that comes from having a solutions mindset. And I'm going to be very real cutthroat with you guys. On my first day of opening pre-orders, guess how many orders I got? Take a good guess. Two. That was it. Loads of people were asking me to open pre-orders, yet on the day I only achieved two. So I was thinking, oh my goodness, what have I done? I've spent so much money ordering stock, getting all of, the, all of this stuff in my house, spending a lot of money to get this started up, and having two orders. Bearing in mind my product retails for $24.99. So that's only 50 pounds that's nothing i've not even recouped how much i've spent but i had my moment but i didn't dwell there what i did was something extraordinary i changed my mindset and it's because of the preparation i did before i even launched my business that allowed me to propel myself to greatness to selling out within five days i went from two sales in one day to selling out completely in a total of five and that's by not giving up, by not allowing those two cells to frame my thought pattern, my attitude, my emotion, but instead creating a solution. Well, maybe I need to market more. I haven't marketed enough. Maybe I need to do this. You know, finding those solutions. Maybe I need to make a video on YouTube. Maybe I need to post some, like, 
literally guys having that solutions mindset will check is is the real game changer about being a successful entrepreneur because if you don't have a solutions mindset you are never going to make it so please 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 if you forget everything about this video just remember the the key to success is by having a solutions based mindset and never taking no as an answer never taking failure for what it is but instead using that as a learning lesson to either pivot or do what you need to to then excel exponentially because something that's really important about having a solutions mindset is having that thought pattern around what you're doing someone has done it before therefore it is not impossible and if they have done it and I haven't the only difference between them and I is that they didn't give up so if I give up I'm succumbing to those emotions and those feelings and I'm letting them control me no 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 that's not what we're going to do what we're going to do is put those emotions aside reassess the situation create maybe a more a better marketing or content strategy and move forward because there's only one way out of this and that's to success. So I feel like if you have a solutions mindset, you will never fail as an entrepreneur because you'll always, always find a way to make it work. And that's the most important thing about any, about owning any business. So now we've kind of got like the mindset out of the way, which is for me the most important thing. The next important thing, if not equally as important, is your product. So as an entrepreneur, you are ultimately a highly paid problem solver so quite frankly your products should also be problem solvers each and every single one of my products that i'm going to release on Minera is going to solve one problem because quite frankly when you solve other people's problems there is a profit in that there's an exchange because people pay to solve their issues and whatever that may, that may look like that is ultimately what business is Business is nothing else. If your products aren't really solving certain issues or problems with the everyday consumer, they're most likely not going to be successful. The, and and the, the problems may not be as obvious as you think. So you might be thinking, oh, well, how does Mercedes, you know, work? Because you could easily just buy a Toyota, but Mercedes solves two problems because it solves the issue of transportation, one, but also the image, the status, that feeling of, yes, I've arrived, I belong, I've made it in life. They solve two problems and they're doing an, inc an incredible job at it. So with every single product that you have there, it needs to solve a problem. If it doesn't solve a problem in one word or the other, quite frankly, it's not going to work at all. Because what you need to do in creating like a successful marketing strategy is solving people's problems. That, that's truly what makes sales. When you actually offer a solution to someone's problem, there is that transfer of wealth. Because quite frankly, if I'm not solving other people's problems, what benefit am I to them? And they will therefore never benefit me if I cannot solve their problem. So your products need to be problem solvers quite frankly. There's no going away about it. And the next thing for me was having a 5 a.m. routine where a week before my launch, I would be getting up at 5 a.m. every single morning. And it really, really helped boost my productivity to the absolute utter next level. When I'm thinking about it, it's crazy. The amount of, the amount of work I could get done just by waking up like a few hours earlier than normal, I got so much done. I was able to like boost my productivity so much so that I was able to sell out so quickly. Because if you think about it, for me personally and for many other people out there, the 5 a.m. routine really, really, really works. Why? Because in the morning you have no distractions, it's just you and if you're going to wake up that early, you're not going to wake up and just like, you know, procrastinate. If you're up at 5 a.m., you're going to work hard without any distractions. So for me, that was the best time to work. It was the time that I built my website. I learned all different kinds of things about marketing and everything like that. So I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend to anyone who's trying to launch a business is to have that 5 a.m. morning routine on the lockdown, especially when it comes to launch or when things get busy, because quite frankly, you will be so productive you will even scare yourself because it was in that time i took the time to get my body right by exercising from 5 a.m to 5 20. then i read my bible and meditated from 5 20 to 5 40. then from 5 40 to 6 i watched 
or listen to a video or podcast, something that was encouraging, uplifting, just helped me frame my mind for the rest of the day. And from then it was like, boom, fire, fire, fire. By 10 o'clock, I had pretty much finished all that I needed to do. But being the kind of person I am, I would still work until like 3 p.m. And then I would take a break like eat, relax, and I'd be back on it again in the evening. So guys, if you haven't tried it already and you want to increase your productivity, definitely, definitely try out a 5 a.m. routine. So the next really important thing is social media, but in more particular, building trust with your end consumer or end customer. Because at the end of the day, people only really buy stuff from people that they trust. They don't buy things from creepy people who they've never really seen before i mean that is the case with you know with with certain products but i feel like for the industry that i was going into i needed to truly be the the face of my brand and at first i was a bit hesitant as to whether i wanted to be the face of the brand however i thought it doesn't make sense without me like the brand really only makes sense with with my input and with my face branding it why because then i'm able to build trust with people there's no harm in with in you know opening up a little bit about your life just so people feel like they know you and then they feel like hmm when they have that thought again oh i really need a hair growth oil they're like you know what? i remember janet she was really cool she spoke about this interesting thing one day so and so so really building trust to connect with your consumers so that they buy from you is really really important and works the charm and it's not just obviously to sell you want to build trust because you want to ultimately connect with people that is my goal too my goal isn't just to sell 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 my goal is to also build trust to build connections like i literally have so many people that follow me on instagram and they're all shocked because i reply to each and every one of their messages i literally don't let any stone be unturned i speak to everyone because I, quite frankly i may not have hundreds of thousands of followers on instagram but the ones that i do have i make sure i speak to them because to me that's really important i like to help other people it's my passion especially when it comes to hair so building trust with your customers making them feel special making them feel you know like they're just worthy enough for a conversation i know things get busy but you can always set time aside just to reply to comments and just to reply to dms it's what i personally do and i enjoy it and i and it also helps with sales as well so the final thing is i don't want this video to be too long is books you need to be a constant constant student as an entrepreneur why because this world is changing by the second before you know it into lakeside is closing down before you know it all these companies are closing and crashing because of coronavirus because why things can change in an instant and if you are not someone who is clued up about your industry about your end consumer about marketing you will fall to the wayside as soon as something comes very quickly so i think it's really really important as an entrepreneur to constantly be reading to be understanding what is happening in your environment and just constantly learn because trust me you never know enough there's always something to learn if you think that you've made it i said at that point you'll probably fail and a book that i truly recommend to anyone who's serious about starting a business is a book it's called building a story brand and the subtitle is clarify your message so that customers will listen and that book quite i've not read many marketing books but that book hands down is the best marketing book i've read today it talks about using the power of storytelling to create your brand and to also clarify your message so that people find it easier to shop with you and just ultimately enjoy your product because you're tackling a very simple easy to understand need that they have so i think that's pretty much it guys that's all i have to, for today if you haven't subscribed already definitely go ahead and subscribe like comment comment down below your tips as well if you're a new business owner definitely comment down what you've learned on the ways and if you're someone who's thinking of starting a, a, a business comment down below because i really want to encourage and inspire you if you're having those doubts because we really truly need more black entrepreneurs these days and i'm happy to be at least one of them and i want you to be one too thank you so much for watching this video and i'll catch you on the next one bye